Today, I'm going to show you the best way to transfer all of your data from your old Android phone over to your new Android phone. Now, in this case, I'll be transferring from my Google Pixel 10 over to my Pixel 10 Pro, but the same process will apply to all Google Pixel phones as well as most Android phones. Now, this transfer will carry over everything you need from your apps, your music, photos, messages, uh, even things like your settings and wallpaper. And this is going to save you a lot of time as it will essentially mirror your old phone over to your new phone. And then at the end of this video, I will also show you how to safely erase your old phone so you can then sell it and then pass it on without sharing any of your personal data. So without further ado, let's get started. Great. So before we start, we do have the pre-transfer checklist, a few important things that you want to make sure are in order to ensure a successful transfer. Now, the first thing you want to make sure is that both phones are at reasonable battery level. The higher, the better. I would really recommend 70% or above. You can also choose to plug in both phones throughout this process, but I haven't done that for this reason. And I'll show you why in a little bit. But again, make sure both phones are relatively charged as you don't want either phone running out during this process as that would well really mess up the transfer. And then if your phone supports it, you also want to make sure to have a SIM card ejector tool ready. This will be to transfer the SIM card. And secondly, you also want a USB-C to USB-C charge cable. This can be the cable that came in the box with your phone. Perfect. So now let's set up the old phone and prepare it for the transfer. So the first thing you want to do is go over into your system toggles here and make sure that both your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. Now, this is going to be important as this will make sure that your new phone can then locate and find your old phone. So once you've turned these things on, you want to make sure that your new phone is running the latest version of Android. So to check this, we're going to go into settings and then scroll down here to where we find system. And in here, we'll tap onto software updates and tap onto system update. And if you have to do an update, I recommend you do this now before we begin. Great. So we're now ready to start the transfer process. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that your old phone is turned on and unlocked. As you see here, then take the new phone and also boot that up. And you should see a welcome screen like this. This here is the Android welcome screen. And we are now ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is over on the new phone, we're going to tap on the little arrow here, and you will first be prompted to select both your region as well as your language. Now I've already done that. So we're going to go straight over to the setup screen, where here we have the option to set up with another device. Now, of course, if you don't want to do this, you have the option to skip. But if you're watching this video, you more than likely do. So in this case, we're going to select either to transfer from a Pixel or other Android phone or iPhone or iPad, as these are two different methods. In this case, of course, we're going to tap onto Pixel or Android device. And then from there, a QR code will appear over on the new phone. Now, by this time, a pop up should have appeared on your old phone, something like this, which will ask you to set up the new phone, in this case here, the Pixel 10 Pro. Now, if for whatever reason, this pop up hasn't shown up on your old phone, don't worry, this can happen. What I recommend you do is lock your old phone, then unlock it. Or if it still doesn't work, you can restart both phones and restart the process. And this should ensure that it shows up. And again, if it still doesn't just repeat the steps that I showed throughout this video. So make sure your Wi Fi and Bluetooth are on and that your old phone is on the latest version of Android that it supports. This should ensure for the pop up to show up. And then once we have the pop up, we're going to go ahead and tap on to set up. And now the camera is going to open up where we're going to scan the QR code. So you want to simply put that into frame and then the old phone will vibrate to show that it has successfully read the QR code. This makes sure that the phones are able to connect. And then you want to type in the pin code or your passcode to unlock your old phone. So you want to type that in over to your new phone. And then here with this check mark, you also have the option to keep using that same code on the new phone if you like. And here we go with that typed in, we're going to tap onto next and give that a second. Now at this point, the new phone is going to connect over to our Wi Fi network. And we'll also do an update if it is needed. If it is, it will automatically do this. Just be patient. This may take only a couple of minutes. And then at this stage, we'll be prompted to transfer over the SIM card from the old phone to the new phone. So I've already taken mine out here and let's go ahead and put this into the old phone. So on the Pixel 10 Pro, the SIM card tray will be found in the top. So let's go ahead and take that out like so. And then when you're inserting your SIM card, it's important to know that there really is only one way to do this. So it will only fit in one way. So that makes sure uh, that you've put it in correctly. And then we'll slide that SIM card in on the top of the phone there and give that a second to read. And there we go. So it is now recognized the SIM card. And from here, we'll be prompted to set up the fingerprint scanner, something I definitely recommend you do from a security perspective. So what we're going to do is scroll down, then we're going to tap on to agree. And here it's going to show you how to set up the fingerprint sensor. All you want to do is take your thumb of 
have your dominant hand. So in this case, I'll use my right hand and then tap and then release on this little sensor icon here in the middle of the screen repeatedly to jet to quickly fill this circle that you see here and on screen you'll be prompted exactly where how it wants you to angle uh, your finger to fill up this circle and there we go so that's the first finger added now i also recommend you add a second finger from your other hand or maybe even your index finger to make it even easier to unlock your phone but we'll skip that setting here for now but i recommend you do that at home now we're going to go and tap on to next and here we also have the option to set up face unlock which on the pixel 10 pro is a class 3 system so i do recommend you use this in conjunction with the fingerprint sensor but in the interest of time i will be skipping that for now but if you want to do that it's very quick simply tap on to i agree alternatively uh you can go ahead and skip that for now like i will so i'll tap on no thanks and we can always do this later uh within the settings menu and here we are over to the copy apps and data page. This is the most important part of this transfer. So let's go ahead and tap onto next here. And it's currently getting ready to copy. What it's going to do is over on the new phone, uh, it is going to collate all the data that it is anticipating to copy from the old phone. This again may take just a couple of minutes. All right, so here we have two options and two different ways to transfer the data from your old phone over to your new phone. And I wanna briefly explain both of these so you know which is best for you. First of all is Express. Now what Express is going to do is it's going to copy all the data from your old phone to your new phone and do this in two steps. First, it's going to copy the data that is not available via your Google account, uh, Google account already, like things like your apps, your contacts, uh, as well as your music and settings. And those are gonna be transferred via cable or via Wi-Fi during the transfer process. Process, and then what's remaining will be downloaded from the cloud later. This together will ensure that all your data will be copied. Now this first option, the express option is the one that I recommend for most people. As I imagine if you're watching this video, you probably just want to mirror your old phone over to your new phone. And this here is the way to do that. But if say you don't want to transfer all your data from your old phone to your new phone, like for example, you want to save some storage and have certain things copied, but not everything, you can tap onto customize. And then from there, we'll go ahead and tap onto next, where as you can see, we can manually select specifically what we want to copy. So again, this is a great way to transfer certain things from your old phone to your new phone, but say you don't want to fill up all that storage, uh, you can choose to leave out, for example, your apps or other things within this list. So this is great if you want to do sort of a partial transfer. But like I said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a full express transfer. So for us, that's going to be the option we select. And then let's go ahead and tap on to copy. Okay, so at this stage is going to be copying the data, initiating the copy from your old phone over to your new phone. Now, while it is copying in the background, we will be asked to give some permissions as well as to enable some settings and features. But quickly, before we jump into that, at this stage, I do recommend that you actually plug in your phones to each other using that USB-C to USB-C cable that I mentioned at the start of this video. Now you can use the cable that comes in the box of your phone. And what we're gonna do simply is plug your old phone into this USB-C cable from one end and then plug your new phone here over to the other. And what that's going to enable the transfer to do is to use not just Wi-Fi to copy your files, but actually use the cabled connection in conjunction with the Wi-Fi to make the transfer faster. Now, I only recommend you do this if, of course, both phones have reasonable battery life. If they don't, keep them plugged into the charger, as, of course, you can't plug them in the charger uh, while they are connected. But if you have 70% plus like I do here, I recommend you use the cable as that's going to vastly increase the transfer speed, again, using both your Wi-Fi connection as well as the wired connection. So with that done, let's go ahead and continue here over on the new phone where first of all, we can choose to allow or disallow some Google services. I recommend most of these you actually allow. You will need notification for certain things uh, as well as the ability to uh, install your updates and also send diagnostics data. You can choose to turn these on or off. I like to keep most of these on in this case. Now, second here, you can choose your backup settings. You can choose them separately for Google Photos as well as your other device data, like say your messages. Uh, I like to keep these on as well so we can turn on backup. And then here you can preview if you like your limited warranty, uh, but we don't need to do that. So we'll go ahead and tap onto next. And then from here, we're gonna be introduced to some of the new AI features that are specific to the Google Pixel 10 Pro. Pro. So let's go ahead and tap onto next here. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at Gemini. Then we can go ahead and learn more about Gemini. We can choose to turn on uh, hands-free access to Gemini by simply saying the phrase, hey, Google, you can turn that on or off. In this case, I'm going to turn that off, uh, but you can always change these things in the settings later. 
And then from here, we're going to be introduced to Magic Q, uh, which is an AI feature, again, specific to the Pixel 10 Pro, in which it's going to pull up handy information like flights or phone numbers or addresses uh, throughout your operating system when it anticipates that you need them. So why not? This, uh, this feature, I have actually tested it for my full review of the Pixel 10 Pro. Uh, it seems to work relatively well, uh, but really, I think the other AI features that this Pixel phone has are really great. So I recommend you turn these on and then uh, yourself later, you can choose and see what it is that you want and don't want in settings. We're going to do the same with settings here, uh, with screenshots rather. And then peace of mind, this one's important as you want to make sure to enable things like your car crash detection, uh, as well as pixel satellite SOS. These are important features that you hope to never need, but that are reassuring to know are running in the background. So we'll go ahead and tap next on that here. Uh, sharing contacts as well. Let's go ahead and enable that. Simply tap on to agree. And then if there's anything else we want to cover, we can do that here. But for now, let's tap on to no thanks. Uh, stay up to date. This here I'm going to turn off as well. I don't need Google emailing me. Uh, I've got enough emails already. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And um, as you can see, at the moment here, we're able to see the progress of our transfer. And as you can see, in just a matter of minutes, we've already uh, come a very long way. In fact, it's already just adding the finishing touches with just one minute remaining. And again, that is in large part thanks to the fact that I have the cable connected here. So I definitely recommend you do that. And then again, it will use that plus your Wi-Fi to make the transfer quicker. Now your transfer may not be as quick as mine as I didn't have that much data to transfer. And again, I did use the cables. So it may take longer. It may take even a couple of hours. This is why it is important that both phones are fully charged or near fully charged before we begin. And then once the transfer is complete, as you can see, we'll have copying finished and copying finished on both phones. So over on the new phone, we go ahead and get a very thorough overview here of everything that has been copied. So we can go ahead and tap onto done. And then over on the uh, old phone here, we go ahead and tap onto close and then tap done here on the new phone. There we go. We'll just give that a second to load and all set, then we can swipe up and there you go. As you can see, we now have two identical phones. We have the same widgets, the same wallpapers, uh, the same app arrangements. We've essentially copied the old phone over to the new phone, copy paste, really great. And this is most of the process done. Now, uh, don't be alarmed if some of your app icons over on the new phone are great, that is okay. This simply means that they are still downloading in the background. This will happen automatically. You can see that indicated by the little uh, download icon there on the top of the screen. This should happen uh, very quickly. Now at this stage, it is safe to unplug your phones as the largest, as the transfer of the data has been completed. Again, all that remains is just downloading some things from the cloud, like your apps, but the phones do not need to be connected for that. So at this stage, we can unplug them and uh, let's take a look and see how these two compare. So just to show you that everything is identical on both phones, you can see the home screens are, uh, even if we swipe down to things like your system toggles, these two have been carried over precisely exactly how I left them off on my old phone. Other things like your settings too will have been carried over. Uh, even things like your photos, let's go ahead and enter the photos app. You can see right there, they are populating as we speak and all the photos here uh, are being downloaded from the old phone right over to the new phone. And this is great because this allows you to so seamlessly continue uh, simply using your new phone while having all of your data. Now, I've had some questions in previous videos about logins. So certain logins will automatically transfer over. A lot of the Google services will, like for example, your Gmail, as well as your YouTube app. However, other things you may need to log in again, for example, banking or finance related apps. This should be fine if you use a password manager on your old phone, this too will likely carry over. And that means that your passwords will come with that. But like I said, a lot of the Google services, uh, even things like your, yeah, your Gmail, your YouTube will automatically log you in again. Wonderful. So as you can see, we have now transferred everything over from the old phone over to the new phone. And we're now ready to start using the new phone uh, and get those upgrades in the new phone with better camera, I'm sure better display while keeping all of your precious data. Now at this point, we do have the option to erase the old phone to then safely sell it or pass it on without sharing any of your personal data. So for that, it is essential to erase it. But before you proceed with this, I do want to stress it is very important to make sure you first use your new phone for a couple of days just to make sure that everything has been transferred over and that everything is working. And only once you are fully happy with that, then it is best to erase your old phone. But other than that, like I said, wait just a couple of days to make sure everything went okay. It usually does, but just to be on the safe side, uh, give it a couple of days. And then once you're sure of that, once you're happy with everything on your new phone, we can go over to the old phone and erase it to then be able to pass it on or say sell it in the future. So let me show you how to do this. What we're going to do is over on the old phone, what we're going to do is tap onto settings. 
And then from here, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to where we find system. And then scroll once more all the way to the bottom to where we find reset. And then here we're going to tap on to erase all data, basically performing a factory reset. So once we tap this here, it's going to give us another warning. Of course, this will remove all the data on your phone. We can tap on to erase all data, enter your PIN, and from there, the data will automatically be erased. This really should only take a couple of minutes or so, at which point you will see the setup screen that we first saw on the new phone, then on the old phone to show that all the data has been removed, ready for someone new to set up the phone. And well, there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll do my best to get back to all your comments down below. And if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you check out my Pixel 10 first things to do video, which I'll leave linked on screen right now to help you get the most out of this powerful phone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.